Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Thomas, if you're brand new here, and I make style and hair related videos every single week here on YouTube. So welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are gonna be playing with the, oh, where is it? <laughs> Today we're going to be playing with the Blue Mun Hybrid Cream Clay. This one's been a long time coming. This video was actually meant to come out before my uh, Blue Mun original video. However, um, they said that they were working on the formula and they were going to fix it and then send me the newer one. And in the end, they reassessed everything and they decided to stay with the same formula because there was so many mixed reviews about it. Now, when this first came out, I was like, ooh, because <laughs> I was already like interested in Blue Mun products. So I went and had a little look at a few of the reviews online. Some say the hold is really great. Some say the hold it wasn't that great at all. It does say on the tub that it's got a high hold with a, a four out of six, but I noticed on the website that it said low to medium hold, so I'm a little bit confused by that. But, so yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. This product is, I think, meant for people with thin hair, so you're probably wondering why the hell are you using it, because my hair is so thick. Um, but the truth is, I, um, I wanted to try it out, A, because I wanted to test the product first, uh, B, it's got a, uh, a delayed hold activation property in it, apparently, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that works. I also thought it would be really good to try out uh, for a sweep back, because with a sweep back, I don't like too much hold on it, so I thought this was something that would be worth trying for that. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a sweep back tutorial on how I actually do it with my hair at the moment. So yeah, if you're interested in that, make sure you keep watching, and without further ado, let's get on with this video. Oh yeah, and I did forget to mention as well, I am doing a giveaway in this video with Blue Man. Any of you that have been dying to try Blue Man products, this is definitely your ticket. There's 10 tubs of Blue Man products up for grabs in this one. So uh, if you want to know more about that, head to the link in the description and I've got more details about it down there, okay? So yeah, let's get on with this hairstyle. The first thing I wanted to point out as well is I have had a haircut. Um, no, I haven't cut the bits that I'm growing out. I've actually only cut the longer pieces. I was whinging about it in my last monthly check-in that my hair was just too buffy. The ends were getting a little bit ratty, so I just thought I'd trim them off a little bit, and it sort of evened out that entire hairstyle a little bit more than, than it was. It was just getting really unruly, so that's why I've gone and get a haircut. And the second thing I wanted to point out is I actually have a, like an art to how I do my sweep back. If you notice, like this hair on top, if that were to just slick back, uh, that would be fine. It's just these sides that are the problem. So I notice when I move my head around, these like to prong out and they're a lot harder to sweep back. And when you don't have a mirror on you when you're out and about and they're flopping all over the joint, you don't really know how your hairstyle looks. So I like to get rid of these by pinning them to the back of my head. And then I rely on this top hair to actually cover over the pins so you can't see them. It's not just gonna be chucking a bit of product in my hair and kaboom, we're done. Uh, there is an art to it. So here we go. What I'll do first is I'll put the hybrid cream clay on all all of this back part, I'll sweep it back, pin these in, and while this is doing the delayed hold activation, then we'll work on the top. I was also a little bit unsure, I've got the Cavalier clay as a backup, but I'm just wondering about how these sides are gonna go, depending on the hold of the hybrid cream clay. So we might have to wait and see for that. So yeah, we're gonna grab the hybrid cream clay and we're gonna start moving it all back. I have had a little dip in this already. Um, the color of this thing is quite gray and a clayish looking, surprisingly. Um, and it's actually got a really nice smell. It's got like that real, um, I don't want to say Rexona. It's got like a real, like it's a, a male smell, if you know what I mean. It smells really good, I like it. Got, it's got a really creamy texture to it as well, so I guess this is gonna be really easy to apply. Most other clays that I've played around with lately, they're quite coarse and like hard to get into your hair. I guess, because this is a cream clay, it's supposed to be easy for application. So I'm gonna grab a big wad of that, rub it on my hands like this, and then we're gonna start applying. Oh yeah. Really easy to apply, actually. I just can't make up my mind about this whole growing out thing. It's First, it's good to me, then it's bad to me, and then it's good to me, and then I like it, and then I don't like it. I just can't make up my mind. I wish it would all be grown out already. All right, there we go. We've got it in the sides. Uh, we'll leave that for its 15 minutes to see how it goes. And in the meantime, we're gonna grab these stupid side bangs that always prong out. Let's give them a name. I'm gonna call them the twins. Look at them. And when I insert these, I'm going to put them vertically as well. Um, if you put them horizontally, they're easier to see. So when this hair covers over the back, um, yeah, hopefully they're hidden a lot better. So that's one in place. Oh, I wouldn't expect any hair product to be able to hold these back. They're like, seriously, the most unruly things I've ever met in my life. Double check that. Yep, looks good that side. Looks good that side too. Just to show you a close up of what I've done. So I've done, I've taken the twins from the sides and I've bobby pinned them in the back vertically. And this hair on top should cover those over once we've finished the hairstyle. So, so while that's working its magic and it's all just setting into place, uh, what I'm gonna do is start playing with this top hair. Oh, 
All right, so I've worked the hybrid cream clay uh, into a position that I like on my hair. And as you can see, the shape of this hairstyle has actually turned out really, really nicely. You can't see the pins in the back. Really, really cool. Now, the only test is I'm going to walk around and do a couple of things for 15 minutes and just act as normal. And we're going to see exactly uh, how this holds up. I actually am I'm pretty impressed with the sides uh, at the moment because they are quite unruly as well. They usually prong out. So it's hard to say. And whether it'll last or not, who knows? So uh, I'll be back in 15 minutes and we will reassess, okay? <laughs> See you in a minute, bye. Alrighty, so it's been about 15 minutes now since I applied all of this product to my hair. And if I were to be very, very honest, I actually, I actually don't think the hold's that bad. It's not like if I do a little head bubble, like nothing's falling out. Nothing's going out of place. I've been moving around my house, doing everything, and I'm actually quite impressed with it. You know how I was a little bit worried earlier about these side bits being a little bit too poofy? This side has coped really well uh, and stayed in place, except for that one hair there. <laughs> Get out of here. But this side, it seems to like, when I slicked it down and originally, it was like <laughs> slicked back, and then uh, now it's just kind of decided to start poofing out a little bit. So I don't actually think it's anything worth uh, fixing. I it's not like fully pronging out, so I probably wouldn't want to use more product on top of it, like the Cavalier Clay. I don't think it needs it. The delayed hold activation is definitely a thing. Um, over the last 15 minutes, it has hardened up quite a bit, um, which is cool. However, I read on the website as well that it's actually a natural finish, but maybe it's because I've put a little bit more or extra in my hair because it is so unruly, but I don't feel like this is a natural finish because it definitely looks like there is something in my hair. But overall, I think the shape, the hold, um, and everything is actually working pretty well. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I mean, like seriously, I haven't put anything else in my hair today uh, except the hybrid cream clay and the two pins that you saw as well. The pins are holding the twins, um, and as you can see, the twins are nowhere to be seen, which we like that. But I am happy with this overall uh, sweet back look. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below, because I know so many of you have been asking for a sweet back tutorial. So here it is. This is how I do mine. I usually would use something like Cavalier clay to finish it up, but I think we've got a new candidate actually. So to summarize, I don't I don't think the hold was too bad at all, but obviously if I was going to a concert and gonna go dance in a mosh pit, I think it would fall out eventually. That's my overall thoughts on it. As for the smell, really loved the smell. The application was very, very easy. As for application, I did probably apply a little bit more than you probably need. I can pretty much predict what my hair's gonna do, so I put just the right amount in, and I'm actually really happy with the end result. I did also just wanna commend the packaging as well. I'm seriously in love with all these animals that Blue Man is putting on the front of his things. I think the Cavalier Clay now has a zebra, the, uh, the original has a rhino, and this one has like this groovy looking bear, which ticks all my boxes. I would definitely, you know, proudly put something like this on my bathroom countertop. So if you guys wanna grab your own version of Hybrid Cream Clay, um, just head to the description below. And also, if you're interested in entering the giveaway, it's very, very easy. So make sure you go to the link in the description box below. There'll be more info about it there. And that's all I have for you this week. So thank you so much for coming back and watching. I just want to say a big thank you to the Blue Man team as well. Uh, keep it real, be you, and I'll see you in my next video, okay? <laughs> Bye.